this is St. Anthony Potta Rattrad. How many times as, as a Catholic you may have heard from, let's say, your Protestant family member, maybe your Protestant coworker, friend, and they'll say to you when they know that you're a Catholic, they'll say that, well, the Catholics reject the Bible. They don't believe the Bible. Now, how, how should we respond? Well, we do believe the Bible. We do believe the Scriptures. As a Catholic, we accept the Scriptures to be the Word of God inspired without error. Now, what we reject is the Protestant interpretation. All right. So if we come to a different conclusion or a different position or a different interpretation on a particular passage of Scripture, it doesn't mean that we reject it, the Bible. Okay. So I think it's fair to say we as Catholics, we believe, we believe the Bible as the Bible has been handed down to us, the interpretation has been handed down to us from the church, through the councils and the fathers and so forth. We, that's how we, we believe the Bible as it's handed down to us and taught to us from the church. So as a Catholic, if a Protestant comes up to you and says, hey, as you know, you Catholics, you don't believe the Bible, you can tell them we do. As Catholics, we don't view the Bible in the same way. We don't, it's, not part of our, it's not part of our religious life in the way it is for the Protestant. Okay? The, the Protestants have a, have a, have a different uh, religious life with the Scriptures than we do. But we, understand, we have a different view of how the Scriptures should be incorporated into our own daily re- religious life and practice. One of the things, mistakes I think Catholics will make in dealing with Protestants in regards to the Bible is when the, when the Protestant will bring a claim to the Catholic saying, for instance, you guys, uh, for, I'll, I'll just use the Assumption of Mary as an example. You guys believe in the Assumption of Mary. The Bible doesn't teach the Assumption of Mary. Uh, why do you believe that? And as a Catholic, I think a lot of times Catholics will feel like they got to be on the defensive for that. Now they're on the defense. Oh gosh, man, oh, where, where is this in the Bible? And uh, maybe I need to find it in the Bible. Why, why do I believe this? If it's not in the Bible, why, why do I believe this? If it's not the, it, maybe the Protestants are right. It's not in the Bible. What do I do? They get this kind of anxiety. Maybe I, I I get this sense that Catholic apologetics they want to always try to be able to defend every Catholic doctrine from the scriptures itself. And by doing so, what they're doing is that they're behaving very much like a Protestant. And they're treating the scriptures very much as a Protestant would treat the scriptures. See, the Protestant goes to the Bible to find everything that they believe about their, about, you know, morality, their, what they believe, their faith. If there's any kind of question about certain things, they'll look and try to discover what the Bible says about it, and, or maybe what the Bible might hint at it, or whatnot. So any kind of dispute that they might have, or questioned in life, or in moral things, uh, they say, well, let me go see what the Bible has to say about that. I'm going to go find and see what the Bible has to say about that. The Catholic doesn't think that way. Okay, The Catholic says, what is, what is the church taught? What does the church teach on this issue? And what the church does is it incorporates what the fathers have taught, what the what the scriptures say, they incorporate the scriptures in this, the, the liturgies, the, the, the scriptures, they'll look at all these different things, and then they'll come to a conclusion. Let's say a Protestant will say, uh, Anthony Rattrad, where, where is the assumption of Mary in the Bible? It's not in the Bible, why do you believe that? Why do I need to prove it from the Bible? Where does the Bible, where does the Bible say, teach that the assumption of Mary is a false doctrine? Okay, where does the Bible contradict what I what what we're doing as Catholics? You know, in believing the assumption of Mary. Show me where the Bible says that Mary was not assumed into heaven, or that the assumption is not a is not possible that nobody can ever be assumed into heaven. See, that's how I would articulate it. Now, there there are plenty of doctrines that the Catholics believe that are in the Bible, and then we can defend, you know, clearly from the Scriptures, but. There's some that are that, that are very vague, you know. So, so that's that's just my point. I think when we when we start treating the Bible like that as Catholics, we, we're we're giving in to uh, the the improper use of it as the Protestants do. 
because our faith, not everything of our faith is in the scriptures. Not everything of our faith has been, has been written down. Not everything that the apostles taught, that our Lord Jesus Christ taught to the apostles about the, about the Catholic faith is written down in, in the writings of, of the apostles or in the gospels themselves. Not everything is, is, is there. Okay, but nothing that we do, nothing of our faith as Catholics contradicts the scriptures. So I would just tell the Protestant, where does it say that we can't do this? Where does the scriptures condemn this? All right, and if they try to bring some scriptures that that say, look, hey, this condemns that or this condemns this, the scripture says this, that, then we then we teach, then we tell them the proper understanding of those passages and say, no, you're wrong. You're not seeing it clearly. You have a wrong notion of what that passage is saying. And that's why you're seeing our practice as false, because you're ta- you're, you're 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 looking at those scriptures wrongly. You have a wrong understanding of that. And then we could defend this. We could defend our faith from the accusation of the Protestant. But it's not as though I have to define everything in the Bible. And as Catholics, we got to be able to be, not, not be scared of that. So show me where that's in the Bible. Show me where the everything. Show me where every where where everything I have to believe is supposed to be in the Bible. Show me where it says that. It doesn't. That's a Protestant uh, belief that they impose into the Bible. Okay, they're imposing that onto us. So Catholics, we 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 don't be scared of the Protestant that tells you that. Another critique that I commonly hear from Protestants against the Catholic is that the Catholic doesn't read the Bible. So what? How we? How should we think about this? You know, is this a really a, a a critique we should even be concerned with? I feel like a lot of times uh, Catholic apologists almost seem to acquiesce to this. They say, you're right, yeah, you know, we, we Catholics could do better. They almost kind of pander to this Protestant critique of Catholics. Yeah, they say, yeah, we, yeah, we could do better. We could be more like the Protestants and, and read more Bible. Is this, is this a fair critique of the Protestant? Is it a fair critique that we don't read the Bible? Well, I would say as a that it is true that Catholics don't read the Bible that much, but is this a problem? Okay, this, it, that's what I'm. That's my point. This is what I'm getting at. Is this really an issue? Is this really a problem? Does it matter? Okay, if the Protestant comes to you and he's like, "You don't read. You know, Catholics don't ever read your Bible." Is this an issue? Is this really a problem? No, it's not an issue. It's really not a problem. Okay, you could say, "Yeah, we don't. We, just, we don't read our Bible as much as Protestants claim to do." So what? Protestant doesn't follow the church. They don't obey and listen to Christ and his church that he established. So what's more important? Okay, is it more important to sit around and read the Bible? Or is it more important to obey Christ and follow his church? Because Christ gave us a Catholic church. He didn't give us a Bible to sit and read and try to figure out and obey it. He gave us the church to obey. He said to hear the church. Right? And if they're not willing to hear the church, let them be to thee as a heathen and, heathen and a tax collector. Meaning, if they're not willing to listen to the Catholic Church, if they're not willing to listen to the church Jesus Christ gave us, all right, then they're to be considered as sinners outside of salvation. A heathen, as, a, as an unbeliever, and a tax collector, as a sinner. This is, that's a serious accusation that our Lord will say to those who do not want to hear the church. So, the Protestant makes the accusation against us that we don't read the Bible. But so what? As I, as I said, he didn't give us... He didn't give us a Bible and tell us to read it. So it, it's it's not a it's not an issue. We shouldn't make it an issue. We shouldn't be concerned with this with this. Uh, we shouldn't have this guilt upon us but from the Protestant. This accusation and and, and cower and say, you know, you're right. We, we should read the Bible more. As Catholics, we need to read the Bible more because that that's a good thing. It's a good thing for us to read the Bible more. It's 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 fine if you want to read the Bible. It's fine if you don't read the Bible. Okay, it both are fine. Okay. And sometimes it's, sometimes it's good. It's good to have a a, a healthy devotional life reading the scriptures, but sometimes it's good to just not do that and follow the other, the other practices and disciplines that the church has given us, such as uh, reading the lives of the saints, praying the Holy Rosary, uh, obviously attending mass and, and, and hearing mass devoutly. These things are more important Okay, than sitting necessarily and reading the scriptures, obeying the precepts of the church. These are important because what did, what did our Lord say? He who hears the church 
he refuses to hear the church is to be outside of it. And keep in mind, I'm, I'm a convert. Okay, I converted. I've read the scriptures many, 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 many times. I've read through it countless times. But coming into the Catholic background, to me, I don't, I, I'm, I don't view the scriptures in the same way as I used to. Okay, I still, I've made a habit still of reading through the Bible. Okay, but. Uh, just because that's just a practice, that's just something I've, in, I guess you could say, I've, I've haven't necessarily shedded. Uh, I just can, I've continued that from my Protestant days, but I don't look down on Catholics who don't do that. It sometimes it's better that ex- that some Catholics don't read the Bible. Well, like, and why do I say that? I feel like sometimes it's better that some Catholics don't read the Bible because the Bible's a difficult book, and if we don't read it uh, with the mind of the Church and with the le- and with the with good commentaries that come from the church to to strengthen your faith and keep your faith, then you might be subject to the errors and and being blinded and deceived like the Protestants are, who read the Bible all the time, okay, and yet can't come to the knowledge of the truth. They they claim to read the Bible all the time. You know that that, that that's their that, that's their thing that they that they study the scriptures, they read the scriptures, they meditate on the scriptures. Yet they cannot come to the knowledge of the truth. And what is that? That the Catholic Church is the one true religion. That Jesus Christ established a church. The Catholic Church is a visible society, in which all must belong to. So, simply just reading the Bible isn't is it can be good it can, but it can be detrimental especially if you're reading it from a heart that's that's filled of uh, of pride and arrogance pride because you reject the church okay so one thing we have to keep in mind is that you know when i think about the bible the bible is the word of god it's something very holy it is not something to be trifled with it's not. We shouldn't look at the Bible. Obviously, we shouldn't look at the Bible as any other kind of book. You're just gonna pick up the pick up some other book and read it. The Bible is a holy. It's it's holy. It's God's it's, it's God's word, and God's word isn't to be trifled with. So I it, I believe that if we read the scriptures with a, an improper disposition, it's like it's like um, handling something that is holy. And you're not qualified to handle it can be dangerous to yourself spiritually. If we if we think back, um, just think of some Old Testament exa- situations where they you know, only certain people are allowed to touch certain holy things or perform certain holy acts. Okay, certain people were to read the scriptures, you know, and and teach the scriptures. You know, God has His place for all certain kind of things. So if anybody just kind of picks up the Bible and begins to read it. And they're not in the proper state that they should be. They're, they may be, in a way, mishandling something very holy. And God can bring a judgment upon their own heart. And I only, I only say it because I, I look at the Protestants who've read the, who read the scriptures. At least I'm saying they claim to read it. So I take them for the word. And I, and, and I myself read the scriptures a lot. And yet, it wasn't reading the Bible that brought me to the knowledge of, of, of the Catholic Church. It wasn't reading the scriptures that led me to the truth of the Catholic religion, to let led me to this truth. It wasn't simply just reading the Bible as a Protestant. I've heard I, I, I hear this a lot too. I've heard this, you know, the people say that they read that they I, I read the Bible and I became Catholic. I find that very hard to believe. In, and it could be my own jadedness, but I've said I've read the Bible Many times, many times. That's not. I'm not trying to boast. I'm just saying I've read the Bible quite a lot, and I reading the Bible. I never, you know, reading the Bible. I never. I did not become Catholic by reading the Bible. I became a Catholic because I heard arguments that convinced me that the Catholic religion was true, or at least got me to think that the Catholic religion made sense, and I began to listen to their arguments and their defense of their particular positions from the scriptures, you know, and, and the show where Catholicism, where, where the teaching of the Catholic faith is in these scriptures. And I began to see the scriptures from a different perspective. I said, wow, I never really noticed those before. I never noticed how Catholic the Bible is. And I've read the Bible so many times, yet I never realized how Catholic it was. And it wasn't by simply reading the Bible on my own that I came to this realization. 
And I don't believe that a Protestant sits there and reads the Bible on his own and becomes a Baptist or becomes a Presbyterian or becomes anything. I think this is like with anything, uh, people get convinced of a certain position or they're influenced by a certain preacher or pastor or priest or whatever. And they begin to listen and learn from that particular person. And then they begin to read the scriptures in with the, the lens that this particular church is feeding them. So nobody who converts simply read the Bible and then became a Baptist or became a Presbyterian or became a Methodist or even became a Catholic, okay? They didn't. They may have read the Bible and come to the conclusion that Jesus, Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that, you know, they've come to these kind of conclusions, but then where do you go from there? Now what do you do with that knowledge? Eventually, eventually they come, they, they interact with people that convince them of their position. And that's uh, how they arrive to the knowledge of the truth. So I say all that to say that as a Catholic, we can save our soul without ever op- cracking open the book of the Bible. We can. We can know Jesus Christ and his holy church without ever opening up and, and cracking a book of the Bible. So we, it's, it's important that we don't be, begin to be influenced by the Protestant idea that we must read the scriptures all the, we must read the scriptures a lot. And the, you know, saying that if we don't read the Bible, then, uh, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're blind and we're, and we're following the lies or whatever the Protestants will say. No, if anything, reading the Bible a lot the, <laughs> isn't a guarantee you're going to arrive to the truth because look at all the Protestant sects out there. They read the Bible a lot and they haven't come to the knowledge of the truth. In fact, they're blinded by it. It's almost like God, that God's word is blinding them to it blinding them because of the hardness of heart that they abuse God's word. It's an abuse what they do. So, okay, so it's good. So as a Catholic, should we read the Bible? Yes, sure. Or don't, you know, it, it, as I said, it can, it can be good and, 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 and it can be not good depending on the, on the state of the soul, the individual. And as I said, the Bible is a difficult book. So if you're going to read it, get a good, as the popes have said before, to get a to get a Bible that has that as a Catholic translation, you know, and with Catholic commentary. You know, it is it is, yeah. As I, I think maybe I beat a dead horse, but there's no way there's no way anybody there's no way anybody read read the Bible, and I'm talking about the Protestant Bible. There's no way anybody read the Protestant Bible and came to, to the Catholic Church by simply reading the, the Protestant Bible. I mean, those Protestant Bibles are so corrupted, they, 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 they translate out the Catholic senses of many of the texts. So, that's, like I said, I've, I've heard this many times, and that, that, I feel like that's just not accurate. I feel like they're what they're, when they do, when people make those kind of comments, they're, they're trying to make a jab at the Protestant because the Protestant says, if you read the Bible, you would leave the Catholic Church. no. Uh, <laughs> well, if you read if you read a Catholic Bible like the Dewey Rames, you'll you'll see Catholicism there, and you'll be like, huh. And you may be more led to the Catholic Church, but you're not. You, you may not come to the, you. You might be wondering what this church is that is spoken of so clearly in the Scriptures through the proper Catholic translations. But again, you're not going to just read the Bible and come to the come and and, and arrive at the at the Catholic Church. Uh, you're not. You're eventually gonna. You're, gonna, you're eventually gonna meet somebody who's gonna give you, who's gonna direct you to the Catholic Church, and then show you, show you in the Scriptures where the Catholic Church is. Much like, <clears throat> much like what what Saint Paul did with the Bereans, he pointed Christ out to them in the Scriptures, and that's what the Catholic Church does. And the Catholic Church can point out the Catholic Church and the teachings of the Catholic Church in the Scriptures and point them out to you. And if we're good Bereans. We'll sit there at the feet of the church and see how these things be so, as the Bereans say. So, don't be, don't be intimidated. Don't feel like 
this is a defeat for Catholics if they don't, since we don't read the Bible that much. We have the Bible's the, the scripture reading, Bible reading. Our religious practice, our religious faith, is following the precepts of the church. We listen to the church. The the the, the leadership of the church reads the scriptures. The leadership of the church teaches us those things, what we need to hear and what we need to know. But the everyday lay person, it's not necessary that they sit and read the Bible. They just need to do, do their prayers, obey the precepts of the church, attend Holy Mass, look, listen to the lives of the saints, and, and follow their example and model, and you'll save your soul. So, that's something else I hear. I want. I felt like just dressing. I'm just, as I said... These are the these are my muse, mu, these are my musings, my musings. Uh, Ave Maria.